Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. This is Kristen with Monarch Plans and today I will be going through and talking about my favorite planner products that I found over the last about year. Um, there's a lot of different things. There's a lot of things I use on a weekly basis during my plan with me is on essentially a daily basis and a lot of things that I think other people should know about. Um, I will be talking about not only where I got the items, but also how much they cost. And with that, prices can change. So if you get on Amazon and the price is a little bit different, I'm sorry, um, but I'm just gonna explain kind of the price that I got it at and what I've seen the price at more recently on Amazon. Um, I did take a look. All of these products I will have linked in the description box. You can either find these on Amazon, which I do have an Amazon list, so you can choose my list and almost everything will be on there. Um, some of them are from Erin Condren, some of them are from Plum Paper. So I will be sure and let you know where I got the product so you know exactly where to look for it. Um, but let's just get started um, kind of explaining where and what I have been loving recently. So the first thing that I think I get the most questions about during my plan with these is my little slicer tool. It has this little blade on the end. Um, I don't know if you can see that. It's just this little white ceramic blade and I use this to cut washi. And so I wasn't able to find this exact tool online. I did get this in a craft store. I'm not quite sure which one, but I was able to find something very, very similar. Um, I believe that the price of something similar, which I have it linked in my Amazon list, is about $8.99, but this is something I use every single week. Sometimes I'll use it during the week too if I'm updating my spreads or anything like that. This is a super, super handy tool and it just gives you a nice clean cut on your washi instead of having to rip it um, and that sort of thing. And so along with that, what you see me using with this tool is this gold ruler from Erin Condren. I got this gold ruler in a seasonal surprise box, I believe last fall, and I use this again all the time. It is constantly in my little planner bag um, where I you know, keep all my plan with me supplies and it provides the perfect edge to cut against when you're using this little slicer tool. And I like that it's really small. I think that's the best thing is it fits in all of my little pen pouches I have or any of my little like carrying cases. So I really love the size and I love that it's really sturdy because it is like a metal ruler. So this is from Erin Condren. Um, it is $8 on her website, but if you, you know, pile on the discounts, if you have a couple coupons, anything like that, it can definitely be much, much, much cheaper. So I would definitely suggest buying this when you're buying some other products from Erin Condren. The next thing I will talk about is just my little whiteout um, doodad thing here. It's Tombow. Um, it really works well. I don't know if you remember, but like earlier on in my YouTube journey, I had a different whiteout. Um, I think it was like Bic brand, you know, like the pen brand. And I always had issues with it. It never worked the way it needed to. It was awful, but this has worked really, really well. It doesn't skip. It doesn't like have any issues with like running weirdly on the little dispenser thing. I love this. Um, you can find it on Amazon um, for about like $6 or so. It seems kind of expensive, but this thing has lasted me like over a year. So it really does not go very quickly um, since I'm just kind of whiting out like a little bit of stuff every single week. So highly, highly suggest this brand. Um, it has worked for me really, really well. Another thing that I highly recommend is getting a pair of tweezers. So these tweezers, I just stumbled upon them and I never was under the impression that the tweezers you use for stickers needed to be anything special. So I just bought these, they're very sharp, which I mean, I don't know if that maybe isn't good, but I would say just any pair of tweezers would do. Um, I found some tweezers on Amazon for like $5. They have um, like a tip on them that's curved a little bit. So I think maybe you might be able to see things a little bit better, but really these are just great for just picking up small stickers and putting them down on your spreads. 
Um, I got these from I think like Hobby Lobby or something like that and I, I can't find them anymore. So that's why I would probably just get them off of Amazon. But these are really, really nice for like putting down date dots if you have strip or individual headers putting down icons, everything like that. So I really do recommend getting at least a cheap pair of tweezers. I'm sure even like a pair of like eyebrow tweezers would be perfectly fine. Um, I think you can get those for like a dollar or two dollars like at Target. So um, definitely another thing that I highly recommend. The next thing that I've gotten a lot of questions about are these pliers. So I use these when I was Franken planning my daily duo and my life planner together. And I had issues last year when I Franken planned. I didn't have pliers like this with this nylon tip on it, and I completely ruined my coil. These have a nylon tip, like I just mentioned, they're flat. And so when you use them on your coil, you won't damage your coil. You won't um, like chip your coil. It's it has a really good grip on it, so you can easily maneuver your coil however you need it to go. I am so glad I bought these. I bought these at Michael's in like the bead section and the jewelry making section, but I found something similar online. Um, you can get a pair for $10 or less. I think I found a pretty good pair for like $6.99. So these are, in my opinion, a must have if you're going to be frank and planning anything. Um, like this was a complete game changer in the fact that I'm not afraid to frank and plan anymore. Last year, I like I said, ruined my coil. So I didn't ever want to Franken plan again, but this makes it way easier. Um, the next thing, and this was a surprise to me, I wasn't expecting much out of this. This little doodad is a sticky, like double-sided tape dispenser from Erin Condren. I got this in the seasonal surprise box um, this past summer. Like I said, I wasn't expecting much out of it. Um, it just seems kind of small and cheap you know it's just something that I wouldn't really think would be you know would pack that much of a punch but this thing is actually amazing um it doesn't skip which is a big deal to me is I've had so many little dispensers that have skipped on me so it doesn't put down adhesive the whole way um they like run weird on the dispenser so it's really hard to work this has worked really really well for me so far and the the sticky stuff that it puts down the adhesive I guess um is really really good like it's not like my stuff is lifting after a couple hours it actually stays down so this one um actually comes in a two pack on the Erin Condren website it is $9.50 but like I said it comes with two and it's similar to the whiteout where you're not using a ton of it all the time at least I'm not um, so just a two pack would probably last me like at least a year or two. So, um, you know, 950 isn't awful. And again, it's one of those things that you can definitely get cheaper if you pile on like the coupons and all that kind of stuff. So highly recommend. This was like a hidden gem. I was not expecting anything good from this, but it was actually surprising. Um, the next thing I will talk about are these little Ollie clips or Oli clips. I honestly don't even know how to say them. So I have three of them. One of them is in my planner right now. I have this small size, which I really enjoy the small size because I find that it's strong enough, but it still is small enough that it doesn't make my planner super thick. They're really strong. Um, so that's something to keep in mind. And these are something that you can't find on Amazon, or at least I haven't been able to find on Amazon. Um, and so you go to the actual uh, website and I will link them down below so you can get directly to the site and they have different sizes, but you essentially just put these over the top of your page and they're like a little page marker. So you can flip to pages really easily. The larger ones are a little bit stronger so you can clip more pages together, but I find I don't necessarily need to clip that many together. So the small ones are great. Mine came in a pack of three. It's like these lined ones and there's a lot of different designs. So I got this pack of three, um, I believe for like less than $10. I think it was like eight something. It might've been a sale. So I will link the um, website and, and you can check and see kind of what 
you know what size you like and everything like that and what design um, but I don't think that these were very expensive at all and I use them all the time I alternate you know depending on like what color my spreads are and really I just keep at least one of them in my planner at all times the next thing and you've seen these kind of hanging out over here so I have these rings of washi and what I'll first talk about are these two right here so all of these rings of washi these little washi tapes all came in one set so there were 36 little rolls of washi these are like very you know thin washi but they're all plain colors um, and then there's like a gold color here but I got this set off of Amazon because I was looking for plain washi. I have some printed washi and I just needed some extra um, thin washi to kind of spice up and accentuate my more decorative washi. So I was looking for this and someone on Instagram actually used these and posted the link and I'm trying to remember who. I apologize for not remembering who but they sent me the link because this was exactly what I was looking for. This pack of 36 washi tapes was only $7.95. And that is exactly what I was looking for, definitely within the price range. And I am so happy with these. They're very slightly see-through for the most part. I've used a couple of them. I've noticed they're a little bit see-through, but most washi is. Um, but in all, I honestly think that it was an amazing value for what I got. And so what I did do though, is it didn't come on this ring. I bought these rings separately. These rings are from Amazon. They came in a pack of 12 and they're about three inches across. That's kind of like the general size I could find. And so I bought these in a pack of 12 for $6.99. So I think they hold my washi perfectly. I can hang them on the side of my planner cart. I can still put them in a pouch if I need to, you know, if I just want to keep them like hidden away. So they're really, really nice. And, you know, you can see all of your washi really easily using a ring like this. Similarly, um, with washi, you can see I have all of this kind of more decorative thin washi. Um, I don't know if you can see that. There's like some metallics in there. So this is Happy Planner washi tape. I got this from Joann's on sale um, a little bit ago. I use this thin washi a lot and so I wanted to grab some extras. I think it was 50% off so usually the little packages of these I think come with like six or so um, little washi tapes and maybe a bit more six or seven and they're usually $5.99 so I got them for three dollars each and I was able to load back up and get all these different colors. So there really are some good options out there for washi tape um, if you're just kind of looking for some basics. So again, I just put it on this ring just to have it, you know, easily accessible. All of my printed ones are all in the same ring so I can easily grab them and I can differentiate between my plain washi and my printed washi and kind of choose from there when I'm doing my plan with these. Um, the next thing that I will talk about really quickly are these ultra tabs really quick and then I will show you kind of how I've used them before. So these little tabs are just like little sticky, almost like sticky notes. So they have just like one, uh, you know, you can pull one off. This side is sticky and so you can put them on the side of your, like a book or a planner or anything like that. I got these metallic ones, but they have different patterns. You can find these on Amazon and you can find all the choices on there. How I use these is I will show you guys my passion planner daily. So here's my passion planner daily. You can see I have one in here and what this is marking is there's just like one day where I wrote like a master to do list. So you can see I just wrote a ton of stuff that I need to do and I just need to assign myself over the next few weeks. And so I just mark that page with this tab. Um, so I can easily reference it if I need to. That is my main reason for getting these is in this planner specifically, I write a lot of lists, to-do lists and like ideas and doodle and all that kind of stuff. And if there's anything that I want to remember or come back to, I'll put a tab there. They're also very easily removable. So that is the nice thing is you can move them, you can remove them and not worry about tearing your pages. The other thing that I wanted to show you on this planner um, that I really, really highly suggest and I was actually, again, very surprised about is this little pen loop from Erin Condren. 
she just came out with this in the most recent back to school release and this is like the best pen loop I've ever had. It is tight enough where it's like it won't come off of my passion planner if I pull on it like this. You can get it off. It's not, there's not an issue of like it won't come off, but it won't come off by just like pulling, which is a big deal for me, but it is removable. So I can always move this to a different planner if I want to. It's really easy to fit a pen in there. Um, this has like the little grip on the bottom, so it's a little bit difficult, but it'll fit any pen because it's like this accordion, like, you know, it can expand. So I really, really like this little pen loop. I think I have two of them. The other one is on one of my other planners, um, but I use this thing all the time. And this thing is $5.50 from Erin Condren. Um, highly recommend. It was like one of those things that again, I was like, mm, I don't really know about that. And I got it and I was like, this is the best. So um, a couple, you know, you see a couple of my things in action here. So you can tell that I really do enjoy these things. The next thing that we'll talk about um, really quickly is this accordion pen pouch from Erin Condren. And I have shared this on my Instagram before. This was one thing that I didn't buy actually for a very long time because I did not want to buy something that I already had. Like I've already got a ton of pen pouches and pencil pouches. I did not need another one, but what I originally got this for was I wanted my fiance to use it to put his masks in for work because there are six compartments and he works five days a week. So I wanted him to fill this with clean masks and wear one mask a day. I think that's a really good use for this, especially right now in the times that we're in um, with having to wear masks. And I wanted to make sure he was wearing a clean mask at all times when he was at work. So that was the main purpose of this. Um, so we ended up doing something different for him. And so I had this pouch and nothing to do with it. So I took a dive and I filled it with all of my pens. Like quite honestly, all of my pens fit in this accordion pouch. Um, I am just like astounded. So I have kind of like some accessories in here. I have a pen holder from Plum Paper and some scissors and there's usually more stuff in this pouch, um, but it's all laying over here because I've talked about it. Um, I have my pens from Erin Condren. I have all of these pens in here. I have a bunch of like gel pens and then all of my Inkjoy pens. I have like every color of the rainbow, all my mild liners, all my Sharpie S notes, and then I have my Erin Condren highlighters. So I have a ton of pens and they all fit in this accordion pouch and they all do not take up that much room. Like if these were zipped, it would be essentially that thick, um, really not that bad. And I am in love with this thing now. I probably won't use another pencil pouch just because I was having to carry like one pencil pouch with my mild liners. And then if I would want to use like my ink joys, I had to have another pencil pouch with my ink joys. If I wanted to do anything with my Erin Condren dual tip markers, I had a separate pencil pouch now. I obviously have this all zipped up. I grab the handle and I just drag it along with me wherever I go when I'm planning. Super easy, super simple. I love this thing. It's only $14, which sounds expensive, but for how like useful it is, I think that that is an amazing price. It also can be used when like you're traveling, you can use it in the car. You can honestly use this for so much more than just pens. So think about that when you're kind of taking a look at this or considering this. I, when we go on vacations, I will definitely empty all this stuff out and I will put like electronic stuff in here, cords. Um, you can put medications in here, separate it out, like maybe by family member, whatever you need to do. This thing is amazing. So, um, with that though, let me really quickly talk to you about some of the pens I have in here um, that are my absolute favorites. The other thing I'll mention are my mild liners. I will probably always use mild liners. I love the colors. I love how versatile they are. 
I use them when I'm budgeting. I use them when I'm doing my tending list. I use these all the time. I got a set of 15 of them for about $15. Um, on Amazon at one point. I don't know if that's the normal price or if they were on sale, but I think that, that is an amazing price for how often I use them. Um, the colors are really pretty. They're also pretty muted, but they're a lot more pigmented than the Erin Condren markers. So keep that in mind, but honestly, mild liners, you know, if you haven't gotten them before, maybe start out with like a smaller pack of them, which are also available on Amazon. And just try out, you know, some of the colors and see what you think about them. But I highly recommend these. The next pen that I will suggest are these Inkjoy pens, which they come in a ton of different colors. I got the 0.5 um, size and I bought this package off of Amazon. Um, it's a 14 pack of pens and they were all different colors. And I got them for about $15. I think that was on sale. I think they're normally about 20, but that is still a great price because I use these a lot of times for like journaling um, and I love all the different colors of them. So I think it's definitely a good option if you're looking for colored gel pens that are really good quality. And so let me, I think that's it in terms of pens in my pouch here. Um, let me talk about a couple other pens that I've gotten that I really, really enjoy. So I have my Pentel Energels here. I love the needle tip 0 0.3. Um, I think that my handwriting is a lot better when I have a thinner tip. So I tend to prefer these, but I really also do like the 0 0.7. Um, so I have both sizes and I just kind of alternate depending on the week, but I really enjoy both and I like how they write. I haven't had any issues with skipping or anything like that. And they're also really easy to find uh, refills for, so you don't have to buy like more pens. You can just buy the little refills that go inside of them. The next pen going along with like the thinner tip is the Pilot G2 0.38. Um, again, really like this pen. I ha haven't had any issues with skipping like some other pens. Um, so I really enjoy this one and these are really easy to find. You can find these at Target, you can get them online. Um, you know, they're just kind of like a very versatile pen that are very, very popular and easy to find. And then the last pen that I really do enjoy, I use these a lot in my, um, my passion planner when I'm doing memory keeping. I have these Pigma Micron um, 02, and you would just look for the 02 on the cap. Um, I think you can buy these like in stores, like in craft stores, but I got mine off of Amazon. Um, I believe I paid about $13 for a six pack, so a little bit more expensive, but they are like a really thin tip, but they're very pigmented. It's almost more like a marker. It's like a felt tip pen. So. I really, really enjoy these when I maybe have put down highlighter and I'm needing to write over the top of the highlighter, that sort of stuff. Um, those pens work really well. The next thing that I will talk about is the notepad from Plum Paper. So I've had a couple different daily pads before, um, just kind of like priority pads, to-do lists, calendars, everything like that. And I love plum papers notepads that they have they have a ton of different versions of notepads for all different types of things that you could even think of um, I got this one and started using it and what I mainly love about it is I love the paper it's like a very smooth paper it's not as smooth and glossy as their planner paper is if you're familiar with it but it's just very very smooth and just comfortable to write on um, I tend to like kind of like an in-between of like smooth and then Erin Condren is like as like rough and textured as I'll go and Erin Condren's notepads are definitely like that thicker mohawk paper so I really do like that these are a little bit smoother they're still thick so you're not gonna like bleed through onto the next page but I really really do like these I like the fact that they're on like a hard cardboard so I can stick them in the back of my planner if I want to and just keep them in the back of my planner um, there are about 60 sheets per notepad and this pad was only $10. So most of their notepads on their website are only $10. So I would highly suggest taking a look. 
Um, the thing with Plum Paper is if you want to get a discount off your first purchase, there's not a website or anything or like a coupon code I can give you. Um, you'll have to send me your email address. So if you are interested, you can find me on Instagram at monarch underscore plans. And if you just send me your email address and let me know that you're interested in Plum Paper, I'll send you a code um, and then you'll be able to get a discount after you sign up and everything on their website. So like I said, I absolutely love this pad and it definitely is nice to have something just like on my desk, sitting right here, listing out exactly what needs to get done during the day. The last thing that I will talk about is this um, like photo album is essentially what it is. And I got this off of Amazon. It comes in a two pack. I think a lot of people have shared about this, but I do want to talk about it a little bit more just because it deserves the attention. Um, this photo album is what I use to hold all of my Erin Condren kits. So all the sticker kits you get from Erin Condren, they're like a very odd size. You know, they're kind of like, they don't fit in like a normal binder. They don't fit in a lot of like other storage, um, you know, like storage things. And so this photo album is the perfect size and it comes in a two pack. So I have my kits in this one and then I have my loose like Erin Condren stickers in the other one. And what I did is I just got some scrapbook paper and measured out the front put some scrapbook paper in the front to make it look pretty, and then we were good to go. But I love this. I also have, you can see like my plum paper kits and everything in the back, um, but I just go through and I can choose really easily, um, you know, from here instead of having just like a pile of stickers. So I really, really, really suggest um, grabbing this if you have a lot of Erin Condren stickers. The two pack of these um, were $17 on Amazon. So that'll be linked in my Amazon list as I mentioned before. So I think that that is it for my suggestions. Um, what I'll be doing is I will also be doing a video like this and doing my favorites and my suggestions for like Etsy shop supplies. So I'll do that at some point. I mean, I've only been open for going on about like four or five months. So I feel like I've gotten some things down and figure out, you know, like good supplies for some things, but I'm waiting a little bit longer to see if anything changes in that sense. So tune in and wait for that. I will let you know when that is coming up so you can listen if you're interested. Um, and then at some point it might actually be probably a little bit longer down the road. I would like to do an office tour and talk about like my favorite office supplies and organization supplies. Right now, my office is pretty disorganized and cluttered just because I have all of my shop stuff and all of my planner stuff and my work stuff and everything in my office. But when we get our new house, I'm planning to kind of redo my whole office and get a new desk and reorganize things. So when we move, I'm hoping I'll be able to do a tour and show you like everything in my office that I like that's helping me stay organized and everything like that. So... Um, thank you so much for tuning in. I know this was a very long video, lots of information. Like I mentioned, everything will be linked in the description box below. So you'll be able to find all these different things. There are some other things on my Amazon list that I also really highly suggest that I didn't talk about today. So, um, you know, take a look on there and you might find something else that you like. So again, thank you so much for tuning in. If you have any questions at all, please feel free to leave a comment below or you can find me on Instagram, like I mentioned before. Um, you can leave a comment or send me a message. But again, I hope you enjoyed this video and I will talk to you later. Bye.